There's something I want us to thank God for. We don't usually do that. We don't do it often, if at all. But I want us to thank God for our daddy's life. Our pastor's life. I tell you. It's a blessing to have him as your pastor. You know, as your father. There are different types of fathers. But, but God chose us and gave us the privilege to be fathered by an anointing that we cannot have enough words to describe. And I don't want us to take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. Otherwise, something will happen and you will not be in the first love church again. Yes. You just, you, you, you will suddenly fall in love with a guy in Mozama Disco Cristo Church. And you marry you and take you. Then you see that there's church and there's church. But when you value it, God keeps you here and gives you a pastor here to marry you. Yes. He gives you someone. So you stay here constantly. Can you lift your hands and thank, let's thank God for our pastor's life. It's very important. The things we have heard today alone should tell you that God has blessed us with a shepherd. A shepherd. And we are thanking God. Some of us are not grateful to God for our fathers at home, our mothers at home, and you are bringing it here. But it ends at your door. Here, we, we, we thank God for the pastor he gave us. We thank God for the shepherding we are enjoying. The teachings. How to do ministry. Can you lift your hands and thank him? Open your mouth and thank him. And keep thanking him. You cannot have enough words. Father, we thank you for our pastor. Father, we thank you for our pastor. Thank you for the life of Bishop Daddy Ward Mills. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you that in our lifetime, in our lifetime, we had the privilege to be pastored by him. Some of you were pastored. Your, your parents were pastored by him. And you are also being pastored by him. That is a miracle. That is a blessing. Lift your hands and thank God for the shepherding grace we are living under as students, as single guys and girls, as married people, as workers. We are thanking God. We are thanking God. We are thanking Him. Thank you, Lord, for our pastor. Thank you for our pastor's life. For our pastor's life. Our pastor's life. We love him. We love him. He means the world to us. And this evening, at this camp, we are taking time aside to say that, Lord, we, 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 are, we are grateful that you placed us under such a pastor you placed us under such a pastor in such a church thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you I believe in the lifting up of hands I believe in the lifting up of hands thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you, 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 Lord, thank you. Oh, we want to say thank you, we want to say thank you for the church we are in. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and we also want to say thank you. You know, I just met somebody from Takrade, somebody from Cape Coast. Some of us are from Kumasi, Tamale, everywhere. 
I want to remind you that there are first love church members left behind where you came from. Are you with me? It means you have an interest in the work of God. That's why you are here. In 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 12 if there's someone there who can find it for us you will notice that somebody was thanking Christ for a similar privilege he called it putting me into the ministry the hymn writer said an interest in the Savior's blood and can it be these things are not automatic especially for someone like you with your background, your history. Someone with your social background, social history. Is it not wonderful that you are standing today in a camp? It's, it's a good place to clap your hands for the Lord. So, this is this is worth thanking God for. If you are here, you've been a pastor for the past seven years. Don't think it's, it's, it's automatic that you should still be a pastor. Paul thanked God for putting him into the ministry. Can I have 16 people who want to thank God for an interest that someone didn't come for the camp, but you are here. God gave it to you. It's one of the 1,078 reasons to thank God. One of them is that he put you into the ministry or, or he put the ministry into you. He put the ministry into you. Either you are in the ministry or the ministry in you or both. Lift your hands and thank him. It's a reason to thank God. It's a reason to thank God that your father is a pastor doesn't mean you should be a pastor doesn't mean you should be interested in God the school I, I went to 80% of the weed smokers had, had, had their fathers as priests that's the school I went to that your father is a priest that your mother is a lady pastor it's not a reason why you should be a pastor it's the mercy of God it's the kindness of God lift your hands and just thank him that he put the ministry into you 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 mama zema kalabaya thank him thank him thank him that you are here in spite of your problems you are here what an amazing grace what an amazing love that God will show someone like me someone like you thank him just thank him thank him thank him thank him keep thanking him keep thanking him keep thanking him keep blessing his name Jesus we love you Jesus we love you Jesus we love you Mahosa Kataba we thank you Jesus we thank you Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we love you. Thank you. We thank you. Can I have someone to come and lead us in this time of thanksgiving? I, I feel we must sing to the Lord. The voice I have, if I release it, the presence will be too much for us. So. Is there someone? Beautiful. Have a microphone. Yes. Let's lift up our hands as our brother comes. As we gather, may your spirit work within us. Beautiful song. And as we gather, may we glorify your name. 
knowing well, knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship, we'll be blessed, we'll be blessed.